My name is Dr. Kevin Roach. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Mechanical and Materials Engineering in UCD, and I teach engineering project management. In project management, learners develop the core skills required to manage a project of any type, while also learning to assess the strategic importance of a project to an organisation and plan for external factors that might impact on the project. The module covers key project planning and management tools including predictive and adaptive management approaches, agile and lean management techniques, reference class forecasting, project scope statements, work breakdown structures, network diagrams, risk registers and risk management, PERT or program evaluation and review technique, earned value management, stakeholder analysis, communications plans, and strategic planning and project portfolio management. This module is delivered fully remotely. Content is provided online at weekly intervals over approximately 14 weeks, and learners study at their own pace over the course of each week. There is also an optional live online discussion session each week so that learners have the opportunity to meet the lecturer and ask questions directly. There's a strong emphasis on active learning through practicing the techniques and reflecting on the outcomes through both peer and self-review. Past learners have particularly enjoyed the peer review and group discussions, both as ways to get to know classmates and to understand their own work in relation to others and get additional ideas for improvement. This active learning focus is achieved through embedding activities in the recorded content as ungraded quizzes and small assignment submissions, and through the three graded assessments that constitute the overall module grade. The first is a pre-recorded debate around optimistic forecasting in mega projects, which are projects costing more than a billion euro. The second assessment is a risk management case study based on a NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory mission to Mars, in which learners must analyze the risks and make a decision on whether to proceed with the launch or delay for over a year. The final assessment is a written assignment in which learners choose a real-world project in their area of interest, apply the core project management tools as if they were managing that project, and analyze the management style, challenges, and outcomes to identify lessons that could be applied in future projects. This is a great opportunity to delve into a specific area of interest in more depth, with topics ranging from the New Children's Hospital in Dublin, to Concord, to the Olympic Games. Throughout the module, there is some emphasis on engineering and product development projects due to my own background. However, the core skills are applicable to projects across many different industries, making this module very widely applicable. By integrating professional best practices from the Project Management Body of Knowledge and the ISO 21500 family of international project management standards, the module prepares learners to work in a project management team anywhere that these best practices are applied. Through the project management body of knowledge, learners take their first steps towards potentially becoming a certified project management professional through the Project Management Institute, should they choose to specialise further in this area. After completing my PhD in UCD, I went to work first as a research and development or R&D engineer, and later as an R&D manager. I worked first for a small, high-tech company developing unique coatings for a range of things including satellites, tyre moulds and medical devices. As an R&D engineer, you are constantly exposed to different stages of the development process and must have an appreciation for everything from initial market research and concept generation to basic technology research, product and process design, testing, operations and customer support and feedback. You must learn to communicate and work effectively with teammates from many different backgrounds and areas of expertise and learn to understand and manage viewpoints and priorities that may clash with your own. A good project manager must develop a similar ability to understand many stakeholders' priorities and other factors that contribute to the success of their project. All R&D occurs through projects, aimed at perhaps solving a certain problem or improving a product or process, so project management became a key part of my work and I naturally developed an interest and experience in project management approaches to try to maximise success and efficiency. Many of these projects were carried out in collaboration with other companies around the world, introducing further challenges for communication and coordination that every project manager must deal with. A second key project management skill I learned during that time was how to deal with uncertainty. In R&D, the unknown questions could range anywhere from can we make this within budget? 
to is this even physically possible at all. Increased emphasis on risk-based management and adaptive, lean or agile approaches designed to handle such uncertainty is, I think, one of the key trends currently in project management and is something that we emphasize in this module. I'm sure everyone can think of a recent news story about a major project going way over budget or being hugely delayed, which is so common that it's called the iron law of mega projects. We explore the biases and other human factors that make us such bad forecasters and emphasize the tools and principles that help to minimize these errors. Along with teaching project management and professional engineering, my research at UCD focuses on smart and sustainable manufacturing and use of materials. One specific area of interest is increasing the circular use of plastics to reduce consumption of raw materials and energy. Part of this involves researching sensors and robotics capable of sorting out the different types of plastic found in waste so that they can be recycled successfully. However, success depends not only on these technologies, but also on the types of plastics in use, the waste collection process, the ability of manufacturers to incorporate recycled materials, and even individuals' ability and willingness to dispose of waste correctly. For example, by ensuring that it is clean and in the right bin. It's a complex problem that requires understanding of the whole system and how each of the parts fit together. I'm therefore interested not just in sensors and robots, but also questions like, how do we teach people how this system works so that they can play their part? Or how will the mix of materials in use evolve over the coming years? This system level thinking and ability to identify and deal with unknowns is a key trait for a project manager.